Got, got that. Copy, you want to go fish? Yep. Another thing that's a little weird about this Oh, got a fish. That, uh, sharp angle at the base. Just hold there, I'll try to come over to him. Or he may come to me. You can push in a little, actually. Hold there. All right, Bruce, we're going to need some help here. Yeah, you can track him. He's going the direction of the it current like watch leads, if that's valuable. In the families in Apple Day. They're called cutthroat eels because the bill openings are uh, placed low Pulling down on the bottom of the uh, throat. Uh, and this one has a uh, long snout. Um, Fairly deep body. This is stabilizer. Try to get tight on, on the eye. Copy. Uh, at least halfway back on the body and fur further. So um, this is in the genus Synaphobranchus. Uh, there are a couple of possibilities for the species. Synaphobranchus brevidorsalis. Synaphobranchus oregoni. Uh, we always have a request to zoom in Copy. on the head and the uh, body just behind the head, particularly area. Where Hopefully it comes in the light down here. You can get a zoom. Stop roll. the uh, scale pattern to help identify the species on the so a cup eel in the genus Apobranchus. This is one of the larger, more active predators in this ecosystem. Uh, they swim so uh, faster than a lot of the other types of fish that we see in, in these habitats, <laughs> and they eat a variety of fish and crustaceans. And just going down and down. So Bruce, um, this guy actually looked like he had lateral line pores on the top of his head. Did you did you see that? And they also look a bit whitish. Um, I'm sort of wondering whether this is something slightly different than what we've been calling the Brevidorsalis or Oregoni. Well, it might be, but the dorsal fin is so far back on the body that that eliminates most yeah, other possibilities. Last look at the dorsal fin. Uh, can yeah, like the fin number of lateral line pores on the head can also help with the identification. Okay, go ahead. We usually don't see these looking down on the head like we just did. So uh, it's a slightly different view than we often get. Come in so more. Still get you on got it. Look up for the dorsal. Species. Okay, thank you. Okay. There you go. And that was Bruce Mundy of the NOAA Fishery Science Center in Port Island in on the island of Oahu, okay. Hawaii. Okay helping it's us out line. with the fish today. Good fly. Nice tracking that This guy had some nice little scratches on him again. Now there's some serious manganese crusting going on yep. here. Wow. And I think it, it forms sort of the, these sort of smooth layers that look like you thought they were striations. I think it's just a really thick coating 